This is me pivoting. So, if you follow me on YouTube, you've probably seen in my story at like three in the morning, me saying something about this is me pivoting. What that was all about is I'm on my way to Quebec right now to pick up a used 2022 Flares Boost 155. I wanted to get my hands on a on a boost and this was the only way that I could see how and still salvage my season. Hopefully the new one comes in and maybe I'll try and make a deal, trade this one in or figure something out. But for now at least I'll physically have my hands on a sled and uh, get the build underway and I'll be ready to go uh, in a couple weeks time when I'm taking off. So as you can see, we got a boost on the deck, finally. 22, lightly used boost. A uh, bit of a drive to go get it, but hopefully it all pays off. Gotta get this thing home and get the build underway. status update here pretty much have everything completely tore apart the skid out of the alpha getting ready to put the 141 track and elevate skid in I also have to do some more chopping on this tunnel got a backwoods bumper to go on the back of there once we get that chopped I'm just at the point I'm ready to drop the chain case oil pull out the drive axle get the alpha track out of there the boost, well, it's in a sorry state. I did just receive my shocks from BWC Power Sports in the mail today. So they're ready to go in. Uh, the only thing I'm really waiting is uh, got a track, got a composite track coming for this girl. Uh, 2.75, their new M700, I believe it is. So that should be here, I hope, in the next couple days. So. We're trying to get this one all uh, buttoned up with the short track, at least get the track under it. Then I can uh, figure out a length that I need to chop that tunnel at. Yeah, then once we get that done and mobile, I'll get it out of the way. And hopefully by then this track will be in for the boost. And uh, that's an easy swap. I already have uh, the belt drive stuff pulled off, um, ready to rock. So that'll be like a quick 45 minute swap uh well maybe a little longer because i'm going to put the track shocks in um and some scratchers and stuff like that on it's totally tore down like this because throttle cable was kind of mangled so obviously i wasn't going to leave it like that um, but to get to your throttle bodies it's a nightmare you have to pull the full um intake box out of here you got to pull the oil bottle and clutch guard and secondary clutch all that stuff anyway uh, turbo and all that stuff had to come off to to get that out of there throttle cable should be here hopefully the next day or two as well so we'll get that back in and uh get that back together clean that mess up got the uh alpha skid pulled out of the uh cat here and I decided to check the bearing on the brake side here. Well, I checked both sides, obviously, but the other one's in an oil bath, so it, it was great. Um, this one, 
Not so good. I can't even spin it. And uh, just full of crud. Maybe it would have lasted the season or maybe it would have disintegrated. It was due to be changed. So a uh, $20 bearing is a pretty easy fix. Uh, simple fix now compared to uh, if you let that bearing go too far. This is scary. 44 foot pounds. I was lucky enough on this uh, 22 boost I picked up, it already had the fire and ice intake kit on it. So it had this extra intake and these protectors. And uh, just as a little added air, just because I had them, I put a couple frog skin holes back there. And last but not least, I did a little boost band in there. Um, that keeps it from collapsing when it gets hot under load. Airbox, good to go. Yeah, it's crunch time. I don't know. I, I just hope that everything comes together and I can get both these sleds back together and, and mobile by then. I guess we'll have to see. Last night, stayed up till like midnight, getting the cat pretty well cleaned up. Got my 141 skid installed, track, backwoods bumper, got the tunnel chop a little more. It's not super aggressive, but if I ever want to put the uh, long track back in it, I think it's doable with this, this setup. Most things are pretty well finished up on the cat. So now today's focus, give her on this boost. I got track to go in it, right there. Got some shocks to go in it. I gotta shuffle these things around so I can get better access to the boost. I took the stock 155 Polaris Series 8, that's the 2.75, I weighed it and I weighed this composite. Composite is 14 pounds heavier than the Polaris Series 8. So take that for what it's worth, I don't know. Going the right direction, thank God. What the?
shop is such a mess right now. Oh man, those are nice. Would you just look at it? Left. Right or left? Right. These are so freaking sick. I remember from the rear skid, these were so tight. I had to actually just put a set of pliers on them to get them started. I don't like doing that, but I couldn't do it with my fingers. Oh my god. Yeah. So tight, so tight, so tight. The sled is gonna handle like a dream. What are the specs for this? Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Flares, that's what this is, is a Polaris. Mm -hmm. 70 in the main, 130 in the evil. Wonder who came up with those pressures though. Chris Brandt. Is that a ride like no Chris Brandt? Ain't a little. <laughs> no, just kidding. I'm not hating on Chris Brandt. Don't tear me apart in the comments. I wonder what my wife would think right now if she walked through the door. All right, came down to the wire. Still not 100% done here, but got my bikeman stuff. Showed up just in time. So it's getting a full, sweet bikeman setup. Bikeman stage one kit. Uh, springs, cyclone clutch cover, torque link with uh, a couple different flash tunes. I'm gonna make a totally different video about the tunes and how to do it. Got our Teflon washers for the secondary. These sniper weights, fully super adjustable. I'm excited to try those. And then uh, rollers for the secondary. Secondary helix, spring, and then obviously that sweet muffler you've seen under the hood. So yeah, wrapping things up. I'm getting there. I gotta get all my clutching back together. Even the cat is pretty well ready. So uh, got the wrap on, you maybe see some sneaky peeky colors in the background there. I'm not gonna reveal it till the end. Stay tuned for the reveal of the builds. I will be doing a full reveal video showing all the parts that I put on both my sleds and uh, it'll be coming up next. See you next time.